And it's time now for our daily feature, Need to Know, your opportunity to ask any questions about money matters, and we'll get our team of experts to answer them for you. Email us on moneyline at dnca.com. This evening's question comes from Kathy, who wanted to know what the role of the IMF is, and ENCA resident economist Trudy Makaya answered this question. The International Monetary Fund is a global body that was set up in 1944 as the world was emerging from the Second World War. Its basic mandate is to ensure that there's financial stability in global markets. So it assists in members in offering them policy advice, in assisting countries that are going through difficulties with their financial markets and their balance of payments. The IMF has um, 188 members um, to date. And countries such as China and Brazil, Russia and South Africa and India have sought to increase the voice and the representation of emerging markets in IMF decision making. So far, the body has assisted its members in dealing with crises such as the oil crisis in the 70s and the 80s, the Asian financial crisis in the 80s and more recently the Great Recession. Let's have a look at the markets now, starting in the U.S., where markets were strong with the S&P 500 hitting a record. Stocks there were boosted by healthcare and small cap stocks. Equity valuations and earnings also in focus. In Europe, markets got a boost from positive German investor confidence data and comments from ECB officials who raised the prospect of further stimulus. Here at home, the JSC ended in negative territory. There was profit taking after a good rally in recent sessions. However, resources shares were hit by a drop in iron ore prices, which hit a fresh five and a half year low. Gold shares had another strong session again today on the back of a firm gold price. And speaking of gold, the price spiked today on the back of an announcement by the ECB that it may buy gold to counter low inflation levels. Platinum was also firm while the oil price remains under some pressure. On the currency market, the rand looked uh, set to break below the 11 rand to the dollar mark today after the dollar softened on the back of positive data from Europe. Emerging market currencies in general had a strong day today. And that's it for today's edition of ENCA Moneyline. Remember, you can send us your comments or questions via email on moneyline at enca.com. Tweet us using the handle at ENCA News with the hashtag ENCA Moneyline. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.